Hi, uh, my name is Warren Marshall, and this is the Archbiz Polish Pack number two. Uh, there's some co there's some configuration stuff in here that's not exactly obvious, so I thought it would be worthwhile to make a quick video and just walk you through how to set up stuff like what you see in the scene here in front of us. So let's do that. Okay. So the first thing to cover is the candles, since those are the most obvious thing in the pack that catch people's eye. So there's these prefab candles that come in the blueprint folder. Uh, these have the flickering flame attached to them, they have a static light attached to them, and you can just drag them into your scene and rebuild lighting, and everything is automated. Uh, the nice thing with this is that these all have parameters uh, that are exposed through the blueprint. So when you drop a candle in, you can see over here there's parameters for candle wax, for the flame. You can have a candle with the flame off if you want to, just to have it sitting around uh, uh, being decorative. You can change the Kelvin temperature, you can change all the parameters about it that make sense, and really allows you to get that look that you want per area. Um, the other asset type that really seems to get noticed are the glass, uh, the glass holders. Uh, these have a really nice look to them, and they, you know, they really add to the scene without you doing much of anything. You just throw them in, and they have refraction, and they look nice with the candlelight around them. Now these also have parameters. Uh, you can customize the glass to look the way you want it to look. There's some holders that have metal pieces on them, like this one, that have metal options. You can change your roughness or do whatever you need to do with it, change colors, whatever. And this parameter list changes per asset. This one doesn't have any metal, so it doesn't have any metal parameters. Now, the thing I wanted to show with this is that, so let's say you have a holder and a candle. Uh, these all have attach points that have been assigned to them. So if I right click uh, this candle that I dropped in and I say I want to attach to, and I pick the eyedropper. From here, uh, I left click on the holder I want it to go into, and the candle socket option appears. Pick that, it snaps the candle to that holder. Now they're one unit. So one of the other flashier features of the pack are the mirrors. And, and the mirrors all come with frames that you can customize how that frame looks. So for example, we pick this mirror and we can see that the mirror frame has parameters. So let's say I wanted to lighten that frame up like that. And we could even make it a metal frame if we wanted to. Leave the leave the finish not chrome but sort of maybe a mid-tone sort of a thing like that. Or let's say we wanted to grab this make it sort of an orangey red kind of color. Maybe it's a plastic, let's say, so we'll pull down that shininess a little bit. <laughs> so you can see it's pretty easy to get the look you want to have these fit into any room that you want them to fit into. And there's a whole selection of them in here, all different shapes, all different sizes. There's some like these that are very distinct looking, and there's also some that are more generic. There's some, some basic circles, some basic chamfers, some bathroom looking mirrors. So you can see there's options there. And finally what I wanted to demonstrate was how you can customize the various props to look correct uh, per scene. So uh, when you drag these props in, these again uh, all have parameters that allow you to customize them. So you can take an individual prop and you can say, well, you know, this one's made of metal and it's very shiny and chromed out. And this one here is sort of an orangey, well, kind of a bluish color, you know, to offset the orange light already in the scene. And it's very rough and matte looking. You know, and you get the idea from here. I mean, you can change all these props to be what you want them to be, really. matter of tweaking with parameters to get the look that you want to have each one have. Uh, but you can apply this, these, this same strategy to any of these props that are in the pack. They all work the same 
and it's exactly the same for all of the letters and numbers as well. You can add letters, you can put things on the wall, spell out words, and again you can control all of these same parameters from the blueprint. So I hope that makes the options a little clearer as to what's being offered in this pack. And that's it.